I'm Chris Edwards from New Western Acquisitions. Welcome to Arlington. This investment property that I just sold to my investor is in a perfect location. It's right in the middle of Dallas and Fort Worth, right next to Cowboy Stadium. The Texas Rangers play here. You're near the airport. You're near the freeway. Uh, this is a high demand area and we're really excited about the low days on market. So let's go in and take a look at the condition of the house and we'll be back in a minute. Well, this is a very California-like house. It has a contemporary feel. It's a very untraditional layout. I love it, and so does my investor, and we believe that the end buyer will love it too. Now, we financed this house through New Western, so we did have an appraiser come and tell us what scope of work is needed so that we hit our profit margins on our exit strategy. Why don't we come back in 30 days and see what our contractors have done and see if we can't get this house sold. Chris Edwards and I'm with New Western Acquisitions and we're back at my house here in Arlington. My investors finally completed with it. We're here with uh, Blake Johnson from Finishing Touches. Hello. And uh, we're really excited about this house selling quickly because of the job that Blake's done. Uh, we've gotten the rehab done in less than 60 days and this is a great area to buy, fix, and sell a property. Why don't we go on inside and take a look at what he's done. So as we go into the inside, we spend a lot of time trying to decide what direction to go as far as the solid surface and the tile work. We did spend a little bit more than we probably could have on the tile, but it was an, I felt like it was in the best interest of the project to keep the floor moving and keep the consistent floor pattern. So what we did is we went with a larger than average 16 by 16 tile laid on a brick pattern to give you a little bit more of a custom feel as opposed to just a straight lay. One thing I'd like to point out, Chris, is an area that I really always try to push the investors, especially when we're going for resale, is going to be the windows. We actually had a professional window cleaning service come in and clean all the windows. These windows are immaculate. They are, they're spotless, they look like new windows, and they're actually the original window. That's another area I talked about earlier that we can actually save money in by going ahead and spending a little bit on the windows, but we don't have to replace them. We can just clean them up, they look brand new. We obviously put in new countertops, an upgraded countertop that is a Formica, but it has a little bit of an upgraded feel to it with a stain grade wood edge. Uh, put in all new hardware, all new accessories and uh, took out the ice maker and actually installed, Chris, if you open that door, actually installed a little uh, trash, uh, trash bin. This is another area that I talked about earlier, Chris, is that we actually saved by, we kept the original bathtub. We didn't change the tub. What we did do is change the tub hardware. So it gives it a newer look, but yet it's still the old original tub. We did put in new toilets, all new bath accessories. We got rid of the old uh, seashell countertop, put in new countertop with the basin, and obviously the new upgraded fixtures along with the lighting. Here again, we're just spending where we need to and not trying to go overboard. What we did up here is install a, a double fan. It just had lights, I believe, hanging before. We went ahead and installed the double fans. Um, we kept pretty consistent up here. We didn't do a whole lot of transformation or changes other than just obviously installing the new carpet, getting all the handrails painted black. And um, this is the master bath, kind of staying consistent, like Chris had mentioned earlier, with what we did downstairs. Same features downstairs that are in upstairs. Everything's new, updated, nice, new, fresh, clean, and functional and staying with the 16 by 16 pattern on, on the floor as well. This was just a niche before in the master bathroom. What we did there is go ahead and do a little um, makeup drawer with a pull out with the double wall sconces. That way it can be used as a makeup drawer or a dressing area, kind of give them a second option for the bedroom.
Well, if you like what you see here, I want to re-emphasize that the investor that purchased this property did use New Western Acquisitions to locate the property. We did finance this deal for this investor, and he, he found Blake, and the product has turned out spectacular. We couldn't be happier. Now, this investor paid $87,000 for this house. He budgeted right around $20,000 for the rehab, and he's got it currently listed at $139,000. One thing I'd like to mention in closing would be that the reason why this project was so successful and completed in such a quick turnaround was the client's interaction. He was involved up front making all the decisions regarding the rehab. Once the decisions were made, he pretty much let his company, his team, do what they do best. The more he became around the project, the more the projects typically, historically speaking, are going to have more change orders and drag the project on and cost the project more money. Chris was in, he was out, he made his decisions, and then he let his team do his work work for him and that's what and that that leads to a large part of the success of the project if you're looking for a house and you'd like to start investing immediately call me at 214-566-9102 chris edwards